Hey all and welcome back for another Hellfirecom's Patreon Quick Look. Today we're going to be taking a look at Wolfenstein, the new order for the PS4. This was commissioned by Crawl12 and I got Volk with me for this one because uh, you like a bit of Wolfenstein, don't you mate? Oh uh, yes, I do like a bit of Wolfenstein. Obviously my preference goes to Doom because, you know, it's a little bit more <laughs> fantastical and there's perhaps beefier weaponry than perhaps your um, run-of-the-mill assault rifle or anything like that, but... Wolfenstein is one of those games that I dabbled with um, around the same kind of time I was looking at the original Doom games. And mm -hmm. Whilst it didn't drag me in the same way that Doom itself did, it does have a legacy which has to be respected. I mean, there's no two ways about it. I mean, Wolfenstein pretty much made first-person shooting what it is. In my dream, I smell the barbecue. So uh, I'm not entirely sure where this takes place in the canon, if there even is a Wolfenstein. Oh. Canon. Funny story. When I was ordering all the uh, the games for the quick looks, I accidentally ordered Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, instead of the new order. So, yeah, I guess I have both of them now. But the year is 1960, and the Nazis have won World War II. War hero B.J. Blaskowitz must launch an impossible counteroffensive against the monstrous Nazi regime that has conquered the globe. Ah, but first, we need to go back to the, uh, year of 1946. Where the war is still going on, and the Nazis are pretty much at the point where they're about to, more or less, win this entire thing. Jesus. These alternate history things are always a trip. Wolfenstein's been doing the whole alternate thing with the Nazis since, well, time gaming immemorium, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So they know a thing or two when it comes to this sort of thing. And if it isn't Mecha Hitler, it's something equally as ridiculous. <laughs> well, you always got to bring up Mecha Hitler. That's not fair. It's almost a gaming icon, I would say, in some weird way. Ow. Sorry, I wasn't saying that like, like Mecha Hitler hurt my feelings. I was just literally on fire. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw, I saw. Alright, so let's uh, go downstairs and uh, lighten the load, I suppose. Yes, we have played through the intro for this, just tested for the quick look and the like, so if I'm going fast here, don't worry. That will change very soon. Especially after this point, it tends to get a bit weird in terms of like where you're meant to go and what the pacing is concerned, but you should be fine as long as you're patient with it. I mean, it's a case of it tries to show you some mechanics and what have you in the midst of sort of navigating your way through bunkers and what have you, so as long as you keep up, you're fine. Go, little pennies. Help the puny children who need you. Well, looks like they're going straight to Atlantis. <laughs> I'm not sure if that kind of currency is usable over there. Well, no, Atlantean children. Jesus. Didn't realize I was going to get, get jump scared in fucking propaganda. Well, I suppose a jump scare explosion isn't the same as jump scare. Oh shit, there is a demon right next to you. <laughs> I suppose so, yeah. Okay, a bit of shooting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is what I come to FPS's for, though. By the way, if you thought I sucked balls at like 2D platformers, oh, you're in for a treat. You've not seen me suck until you've seen me suck at FPS games. Well, we've been hearing the apparent stories during the course of our Doom 2016 playthrough, but now we get to see it in reality, so, um, we'll see if it's an over exaggeration or not. Uh, well. Nope, that's one of ours, I think, Tom. Come on. I keep asking myself, where's the, the sub radar and whatnot, but uh, it's 1946. As far as the gameplay is concerned, apparently there's a couple of different mechanics that you're maybe not used to seeing. Obviously, you have the whole um, combat, which can be melee attacks, firearms, explosives, and of course you've got the turret-based combat as well. But um, players have opportunities to ambush plenty along the way. It's not just run and gun like perhaps in Doom. And you've also got the uh, cover system, and apparently... Um, I'm just going to read this here. Players have access to a weapon inventory, which allows them to carry as many weapons as they can find. With some of these weapons, players have the capacity to dual wield, giving them an additional advantage over enemies by dealing twice as much damage. Players can also customize weapons for use of upgrades. For example, a rocket launcher can be attached to the side of an assault rifle, and the laser cannon can be transformed into a wire cutting tool. So... That's scripted, obviously, because I was shooting the hell out of it and nothing came of it. <laughs> it's like, I was doing so well and yet I still lost, what's going on? Ah, war's hell, Volk. You gotta have juice at the ready. Oh, 
Good point. I shall join you. Yes, it's very warm today in the UK. I imagine it was warmer back in the confines of a, a not very well ventilated airship back in the day, but uh, whatever. BJ Fort, so we can enjoy these luxuries. Exactly. Aw, oh, bless you. Well, no more turret for us, but he did give us a health pack, which is very handy. Alright, I guess we're just going to stand here for a while. Uh, hmm. Oh, I was going to go walk about for a bit, but I can't do anything of the like. God, there's some big friggers. For 1946, I mean, they've definitely accelerated military technology and nothing else in this universe. Because they did say the Nazis are, like, advancing at a crazy rate. Because, I mean, these guys are pretty well-developed, like, on a tech level, as opposed to, like, the Nazis going around in, like, literal stealth fighters and what have you. So I've been recommended to play through the first level of this, so hopefully it checkpoints it well. I imagine the entire first level is based around this 1946 period before we get to the main meat of the game which takes place in the 1960s. Oh, that'd be great. Which uh, doesn't bode well for some of these NPCs we're interacting with so far. <laughs> don't say that, I like this guy. Oh, I don't know Tom, judging by the way this is going and how these tend to get games tend to go, I'm not entirely sure if we'll be... Uh, having the pleasantries of his company for much longer. But, you know, I could be wrong. He could be one of the ones that survived. It's like in, um, what was it? Uh, Deep Blue Sea, I think it was. One of those shark <laughs> films. Where all the, t the whole time you're expecting the man and the chick to make it out of there and then they kiss and they make a whole family. But no, instead it's the main dude and the chef. Totally didn't expect that. So who knows? You might get something similar here. Fucking Samuel L. Jackson in Deep Blue Sea. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Right, now we have a running tutorial. Very nearly went off the wind there, my Scottish brethren. Oh god! I can name at least five ways that can go wrong. <laughs> Alright, run forward and press uh, L3 and X to sprint jump. That's very, very hard to tell what a button it wants me to press there, by the way. It might just be the font. Huh. It makes me wonder if there's a way to maybe um, magnify that HUD in some way. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. So damn it, quit fumbling and get me in here! So that's the end of the war, right? No, that was just the prologue. Now the cutscenes in the game apparently play at 30, the gameplay is 60. Well, up to 60, I think. Yeah, the um, gameplay itself is capped at 60 frames per second, but for some reason the cutscenes are locked at 30. I'm not entirely sure if this is the case for New Colossus as well, but... I don't know, maybe with the whole fact that Dune 2016 did so well, maybe it's a case of they kind of figured out how to get it to uh, run fluidly at 60 as well. No, it can't increase the hood. It's fine. I'll live. Yeah, we just have to squint. <laughs> a bit of shell shock, soldier. Come on, we're in the middle of a war here. Alright, we must implement the most powerful weapon at our disposal. The bitch slap. <laughs> the bitch slap. <laughs> Thank you, sir. May I have another, sir? <laughs> Just slap him through the windscreen. <laughs> God, that's plain seen better days. Being barely held together. Oh. I think we might actually be going down. This does not look good. No, I'm not seeing very many clouds. I am seeing a lot of potential briny deep. It's a bit hard to tell with the rain and the um, smoke and fire, but I imagine that's where we're going. Well, that's as braces I can be a fuck! I love the very real reactions to this whole situation. I can't see fuck all! <laughs> it's the break of dawn. July 16th, 1946. Just in case you were wondering what period this was set in. Hey, I said that earlier. You're stealing from me. Tactics are failing. Ow. That sucks. Yep, bullet through the head out the ass. That's quite a ways to go. What the fuck was that? I'm here to see a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Jesus. Or maybe it's the weapon preceding Metal Gear. <laughs> well, you know Kojima. Like, he sets games in the past, but the tech is more advanced for reasons. Or maybe it's Son of Truckosaurus. I don't know. 
You stupid commie ally. I don't know whether to crush you or kill you. I'll add to the radio. Bye, bud. I was getting too ahead of myself. What's your status? We've got a scattered in bad ways over here. Trapped inside an aircraft well, some kind of armored helpies are trying to fucking eat us. I love this Scottish guy. He is brote here. He seems awfully calm for what's going on around here. I suppose that's why he's uh, one of the higher ranked dudes. Yeah, well you have to be. You have to be able to give orders to the ones who can't hold the metal. I say as if I've ever served in like an infantry or anything before. What can I do for you? We can't get to it from out position. Only fucking trapped in here. I think the Scottish guy was the reason for the 18 certificate alone. Yeah, he contributed to like 90% of the swearing in this entire game. <laughs> Well, luckily, from what I remember, there's no oxygen gauge so far. That may just be for the tutorial, but uh, I think we're in clover all the same. Alrighty. Well, there's another health pack. Where was it? Yeah. There you go. Uh. Oh, jeez. Um. Uh, Good doggy. Nice. You can't escape me. I'm going in the water. No water. My one weakness. That should be you can't catch me. I was having a bit of a to and fro with BJ and the robot there. Mm-hmm. Thank God they don't have rust proofing yet. <laughs> I love that condescending. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tom, you didn't just misspeak like you always accuse me of doing. <laughs> okay, maybe there was a little bit of that. Well, deserved, I think. Deserved. Either way, we got a um Nazi war machine to stop. Literally. It's not metaphorical anymore, it is a literal Nazi war machine. Yep, they weren't kidding. God, I'm not going to be able to take out these Metal Gears with this, like, piddly little hunter's knife, so, uh, hopefully I get, like, a, a machine gun or something soon. There we go. And now... comes the Dacker. Oh yeah. Channel your inner wog and go to town. Huh, I'm not so bad, after all. I will say the, uh, the, the controls of one on do feel nice and meaty. Well, considering this game predated um, Doom 2016, I think there's a lot of things in this game that kind of helps sort of think, oh yeah, I can see where kind of Doom 2016 developed from that. Are you saying Doom or Dune, mate? Doom. Okay. She a bloody accent from wherever the fuck in England you are. <laughs> Devonian. <I think laughs> there you go. There or you Devonshire, go. or whatever the hell it's called. Since we're on um, the topic of Doom, what do you think about Doom Eternal? Oh yeah, I am so excited for that. But, like, there's so much just from that one and a half minute trailer yeah. that you can just take. I mean, the fact is going to be based on, I guess, it's going to be the whole Hell on Earth thing again. The fact that they're bringing back the Archvial, the uh, spider bots, that cyber demons are going to be a regular enemy of sorts. Like, they're bringing back all of the enemies that were from um, Doom 2 that weren't in Doom 2016, for one thing. And Doom Guy himself now has the sleeveless armor, which uh, harkens back more to the uh, original Doom look. So there's a lot to be excited about. Yeah, an excited Volk is a good Volk. All right, I'm just making sure I haven't missed anything around here. There were a couple of guys up to no good around here. I think I hear fighting. Well, I'll take him out first, and then we can deal with that automated turret over there. If I could actually aim at them, that would be great. That's alright, they're in a much worse position than you are. Yeah. <laughs> right, Mr. Turret Man, you've had this coming for precisely about five seconds. Give him the boomstick. Bada bing. Alright, down here we go. Goodies! Item maxed out. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, right. Alright, so there should be a door nearby and you'll be able to lean and uh, hopefully cap some guy's feet if you're lucky. What's the lean button? It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, looks like... the left trigger? Left trigger? No? Why, is this a door? I can't actually tell. Yeah, it's a little bit unclear. I mean, it's not opening or anything. Or maybe it opens automatically when you, um, 
accomplish the leaning task. So it's either you hold the left bumper or the left trigger and then you move the left stick. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, hold on. I can see something there. Oh, there you go. These are my little tussies. Mm. No, that was my big toe. <laughs> okay, sorry. I literally could not see what button it wanted me to press there, so that's my bad. Oh, no, it's fine. I had troubles too. Yeah. Hey, new assault rifle. Nice. Oh, this feels good. This feels good. Luckily, I have been playing a bit of Fortnite recently, so uh, I'm not entirely, you know, out of my element when it comes to uh, rooty tooty point and shooty. Oh yes, your boy Tom has actually been um, practicing some uh, FPSing. How is Fortnite anyway? Because I haven't actually played it myself yet. It is a lot of fun. Just don't expect to be winning anytime soon, at least in solo and whatnot. Yeah, from well, I mean, when you get into the sort of like the hundred-ish man battle royales, I mean, ninety-nine people have got to lose, and the chances are you're going to be one of them. Just making sure I don't miss any like important codex and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, you don't get a big prompt on the screen saying codec call. <laughs> oh, that's the dual wield we love. Just making sure. I bling the pain. I stay crouched because it's just much easier for me. Wow, that poor fucker. <laughs> he did not expect what was coming around that corner. Just some guy crab walking with two assault rifles. Poor fucker. Ah, oh, another one you say. Well. Oh, that one's stationary. Never mind. I want some coffee. Alas, alas for poor Anton. I'll stick with the single for now. Yeah, dual wielding might be a bit cumbersome, although I get the feeling we might need it later on. Save it. Save it for a rainy day. Can't go that way. So I'll go this way. You go that way. I'll go home. <laughs> I was waiting for you to get to that point. Just like, yep, there's a compow reference coming in. Three, two, yep, there it is. I think it was uh, me branching my knife that caused him to uh, evacuate his bowels more than anything. Coming at me with a knife, this dude's an absolute madman! Oh, Jesus. Alright, I think those are the sort of dudes you want the dual wield for, to take him out quickly. Yeah. Uh... How do I get... Nope, that's a bomb. He's definitely dead, Jim. <laughs> well, if we weren't sure before, we're definitely sure now. What's the fucking... Ah! I'm pressing buttons! I don't think I can dual wield anymore, I'm not sure. It's lost to me. To the sands of time. Ah, we'll figure it out. Well, I'm assuming since the enemy came from this direction, this is where it wants me to go. That would be a sensible assessment. Jesus, that is a fucking Metal Gear. It's like something in between Metal Gear and Star Wars. It's like, it's not quite an AT-80, but it's very much like a Metal Gear dealio. Forgot what my buttons were for a sec there, really. You can do better than that, that's me tier. There we go. Hey. Run some. Uh, I dual wielded for hours. Ah. Push forward. You're like properly ramboing this bitch. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe I should be a bit more careful now. Uh yeah, you are running a little low on the old elf there, buddy. Luckily you do regenerate automatically. Fuck. That was entirely my fault. I got too ra- The heat of battle came over me. It washed your mind like a sea of blood. <sighs> well, war's hell. We've been over this. It is indeed. Although that seems like a good place to throw a grenade, so maybe the next time you get over there, <laughs> give him a boomstick. Uh, well, you know, maybe I've used up all my uh, grenades, who knows. Use the cover, Tom. Yeah, the game gives you cover for a reason. It's one of the main mechanics of the game, so don't hesitate to exploit it. Much better. Not perfect, but much better. Oh, yeah, my health regenerates to like a solid 20, so... 
This is just how I play FPSs. What the fuck were you doing, my god? Jesus. Oh, he was waiting for you. Can you imagine, like, he's the war hero. He's the one who gets the medals. Yeah, like, there's, there's like, another game of Wolfenstein being played in real time, kind of like in Demon Souls. And it's just another guy playing as this dude. It's just like, oh, I'm gonna hide around this corner, I'm gonna cap him. Oh, Jesus. I'm not entirely sure if I have any, like, grenades and whatnot left is the thing. I may be able to find some around here. You have to keep an eye on when you can press square, and that usually means you can pick up even a bit of ammo or a bit of armor. Slowly this time. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Alright, don't forget about the guy. <laughs> He's not oh. there this time. No, he's not there this time. <laughs> oh, there he is. Make sure I'm all locked and loaded. Sneak up and press R3. Ooh, stealth. So, uh, are you wanting me to go through the door, or...? I think you might just be able to go around. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's fun when you get down to it. War is fun. Well, especially when it gives you gunplay like this. I mean, this is definitely not Doom 2016. I mean, we get to that point in the new Colossus, but... You can see that the gears were churning, whereas... Uh, oh yeah, this is what gunplay should be about. The weapons feel good, and it just feels good shooting things. Alright, there we go. Well, we can now dual wield handguns. Why is my change, like, weapon thing? I'm on... See, that's double wield. Eh, whatever. It's fine, it don't matter. Take out commanders, you say? Oh, it looks like the HUD's gonna load up some uh, locations for us. I'm not sure if running straight through like that's the best idea. Ah, uh, run away! Luckily, there's a health pack right there. Get down! Fuck. That was entirely on me. I'm so bad at FPSs. <laughs> yeah, he literally just ran straight into the middle of all that. <laughs> Why can't I help it? I had the bloodlust. Alright, they're dead. I'm very low on ammo, so... That's health. Also health. Guy in front of me. Just gotta take the advantage. Don't forget you got that one grenade as well. My one little grenade. Bless. Yeah, if it gets the job done. Having to play very defensively here. Don't worry, I'll edit around the majority of deaths, it's fine. Just want to make sure everything's uh, tooled up and whatnot. Yeah, definitely don't want to be leaving light on ammo. Especially when there's loads to take. Is there anything in here? Any goodies? Ooh. Nice. That's extra health, folk. Even further beyond health. Ultra health. <laughs> if you will, yes. I'll take that. I'll take some more armor. Damn, you like... Go through armor like it's water in this game. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really get you very far, though. Then again, we're only finding scraps of armor as opposed to actual vests and things like that. 
I mean, they give you some semblance of regenerating health, but I mean, they don't give you a lot. Not particularly. This is a lot harder than Doom, in my opinion. Well, yeah, I mean, with Doom, it kind of rewards the aggressive play with the whole glory killing mechanic being thrown in there in order to replenish your health and armor. With here, you have to be a little, you have to play a little bit more reserved. Let them come to you. You have the cover. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> I am a crouching fiend. Legends will tell of BJ Blazkowicz, the crouching fiend. <laughs> Some say that even on his hands and knees, he killed more men than any one man could ever dream. See, I think overall I do prefer Doom's style of play because this is a little bit beyond my skill range, but overall I am enjoying the experience. It's definitely a different experience. I mean, obviously you're not really coming into this really to get Doom. I mean, Wolfenstein is a lot more one man against an entire army. So there's a little bit more stealth and cover play involved. I mean, you are just one ordinary man. You're not the Doom guy or anything like that. Ah, hold to detach. Oh my god. Yes, Volk. Heck yes. Alright, so I guess we need to go through this here door. Of course, with explosives. I want my thing back. It's on the floor next to the door, so... I got it. Now we're in business. It's a very nice looking game, I'll give it a look. Oh yeah, I mean, I've, I hear similar things about New Colossus as well. Which I believe actually uses the same engine as Doom. Huh. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna pop in here. 40% health. Da -da -da -da. Ah! Suppressing fire! Suppressing fire! Man, you're just chewing through these guys. Well, uh, you know. Use them if you got them. Which bitch? Who dares? Who disrupts my coronation? <laughs> oh, this feels good. This feels really good. Who else was shooting at me? Hello. You should do as the Blood Ravens do. Walk softly and carry a big gun. There's a lot of these bitches. But now we're back to this. Uh, that's fine. There's only a couple of enemies. Yeah, run away, Tom. Run away. Thank God for the med pack right there. Where? The one that you just picked up. Oh right, okay. <laughs> well, luckily they don't seem to want to uh, come towards me, which is great. Uh, if they're willing to go through the doorway one at a time, take full advantage, I say. Another one of these you shouldn't have. Oh, it must be Christmas. It's my lucky fucking day. Super Belton. For when Belton just isn't enough. Alright, so I'm guessing we're supposed to go up the steps. Up the steps, you say? Yeah, I think there's another way up. Yes, yeah, on the other side, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this, man. No problem. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Dies thousands of times. You've got this, Tom. You're my little boo. You've got this. <laughs> it's very quiet now. It's like there isn't even a war going on. Hmm. It's ominous. That will let them know I'm coming. That's good. That's what I wanted to do. Follow them all down the stairs one at a time. Da -da 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 -da. Who gives a fuck about aiming with a minigun? Just keep an eye on your ammo count. <laughs> yeah. Just pick up all the lovely juicy ammo and the armor. Just everything really. I think that was a vest back where you came in. I might have picked that up actually. Oh okay, fair enough. But I got heavy ammunition, which is what I wanted. 
Um, ba -ba 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 -um. Who wants a piece of this? <laughs> no one. No one wants a piece of this. Well, too bad. Just saying. Just pill for everything. Oh, why not? It's just lying around. I mean, you gotta help yourself. Before you wreck yourself. Ah, <sighs> chicken to check yourself before the Third Reich wrecks yourself. Anyone? Anyone want a piece? Didn't think so. Anyone want to say hello to my minigun? <laughs> Such a big man behind the friggin' miniguns and whatnot, but oh, when normal gameplay kicks in. Grenade. Motherfucker. Who just throws a grenade? I mean, come on, that's not cool. Honestly. Oh, so we're back to scrub tier weaponry. Or are we? Damn it. <laughs> Where is Damn it? it? They fought ahead. <laughs> Where have you hidden it? <laughs> he just uh, starts shaking a guy question. Where did you put the minigun? It's me. America says hello. Get out of my way. Let me show you how a pro does it. Oh, okay. So I'm not meant to take this thing down with that. Ah, oh, that would have been sweet if you just used that to take down one of the big walkie thingies. Do I seriously? Oh, that opened up and I nearly shot myself. Say, there's some hand of fate guiding me. Keep your wits about you, Tom. Don't have a panic attack like you always do in first-person games. Hello, hello. So, hey guys, how about the game last night? <laughs> Dum-de-dum, dum-de-dum-de-dum. Yes, I've played Mirror's Edge. I'm used to people running in through alternate doors. Oh, hello. You've been conditioned well. Maybe it was just like an awkward set piece I got, like, stymied by earlier, because this is fine. Hmm. Quite possibly. I mean, it is, like, debris and shit all over the place. It's a little bit hard to sort of figure out what's where. Yeah, a little bit. Not entirely, but... Just gotta keep picking stuff up. That's the Nazi secret, you see. That's what they didn't want us to know. If they ever find it, they could just pick things up there on the floor, we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were evil shitheads, so... It's funny to make them comical. Are we the baddies? <laughs> <laughs> I adore that scene. <laughs> it is so good. Oh, hello. You can't open that door until you deal with me. And me. And me. There you go. I got a perk as well. And there's another minigun. Oh, thank you, Jesus, this day, for we have been blessed. Three miniguns in one day. It's not every day you come into that kind of luck. <laughs> <laughs> See, even miniguns can accomplish a stealth kill. i tell you what my favourite mission on Weblock skit is, though, and it's very apt considering the Football World Cup is going on right now. It is just the skit called Football. It is true. Apparently we're not doing too badly, although we haven't really been properly tested yet, from what I can gather. No, I've died multiple times. I'd say I've been tested enough. <laughs> can I slide under here? Probably not with the chain gun. You may need to put that one down. No! Alright, put him down somewhere safe so you can pick it up later. Can I go through here? No. <sighs> Fine. No. No, just no. Just, just no. It's like, give me my damn minigun back. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay, so not that way. Dum -de -dum. Are there any alternate routes through here? Nope, that leads directly to Cliff. I don't think I want to go there. Well, let me try shooting the guy.
Yeah, I'm noticing there's not really much in terms of objective tracking or anything like that. Thank you, my beauty. Oh, I'm back on a level now. Maybe that door at the end is open now. Hmm. Well, let's go have a look. Well, I don't mind. There's like no proper objective markers and whatnot, because um, you know, I played games since the early '90s, so. Yeah, I suppose you are accustomed to it. That's locked as well. Do I need to go down now? I'm confused, Vulcan. A little bit scared. That's alright. Let me have a flick through the guide and see if I can help guide you on the correct path. Thank you, thank you. Meanwhile, I will keep looking and scavenging. Ah, here we go. Take control of the second cannon once you kill the man operating it. Then turn it to the left and destroy it, the wrecked plane blocking the stairs. Oh, silly me. I'm a goose. A silly goose. You done goosed, son. I did. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that good job this guy's got an 18 rating. Poor innocent Volk. Poor sweet innocent Volk. I know, I've been exposed to a Scottish person. <laughs> I know every swear word in the book now. Alright, move this to the left. And move it a bit up, and there we go. And I can still keep this. Ah, uh, Bessie. Beautiful Bessie. Okay, I thought there were more soldiers coming in from there, but it's fine. Hello. Must have gotten word about the plane, just like, uh... Maybe we should just stay back. I mean, if we manage to destroy the plane, just like, nah, I'll be fine. <laughs> you just come in with a chain gun, it's just like, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I do not see a problem happening here. <laughs> <laughs> see, this is why no one wants to hang out with you. Oh, uh, well, we're winning the war right now, so who gives a shit? Uh, I don't know. I think the whole point here is that we're meant to be losing. Ah! Oh, Jesus. My leg! My precious leg! What a dumbass. Is that Quiet Wyatt? Oh, no! Minigun! Is that it? Is that level one done? Uh, apparently you'll now be scaling the side of a wall. Ooh, nice. So, there is more coming up. Behind us now is a second pillar of the German army. What are you doing at the I love this comically sized grappling hook gun they got here. Crazy and dedicated. Welcome to the war. Take over, Private. Now, General Death's Head. Death's Head? Really? If it's the last name, I'd be even more surprised. If it's the first name, maybe not so much. We cut the head off the crowd war machine. We don't. They're gonna have us for breakfast. You all right there, kid? Sir. My eyes are I think I'm gonna be sick. Were you the guy who was sick earlier? It's just nerves. Well, he was the guy we had to bitch slap. Inhale. Count to four. Exhale. Count to four. All there is to it. He's a nice guy, BJ. Like he's in the thick of it, but he's still, you know, keeping his uh, inferior, so to speak, on the on their toes, as it were. All while he's swearing up a storm in the background, no less. This is going to be a lot harder without my blasted minigun. You couldn't pull that up with you, Wyatt? A good team. Yeah. My father and son. Didn't realise we were going to get philosophy in this war game, here, Volk. No, me neither. I suppose supposed to help set tone. I imagine the uh, 1960s portion of the game is going to be a lot more intense. It'd be like, you killed this dude! Yeah, you killed this dude! <laughs> I knew him for a whole five minutes, but it's worth more than your sorry ass! You bastard, you blew it up all down to hell! Ah, so he'll just be head from now on. I'm just amazed they didn't take the sniper elite approach to this, where they just find Hitler, take a sniper, and shoot him in the bollocks. By the way, if you're looking for another um, sort of alternate Nazi Germany themed thing, 
Sniper Elite's pretty good too. Cool, cool. It's a lot more stealthy than this game. I mean, you have a lot of running gun sections here, but Sniper Elite is pretty much all stealth. But you do get to see those cool kill cams, which is always nice. You get to see like all the bones breaking as the bullet goes through like an arm or a leg. I gotta say, what this reminds me of, first and foremost, is fucking <laughs> the Spider-Man game on the Masters, and where you're just climbing up and you can get, get like knocked off the building. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> oh my god, it's been ages since I played that game. Who's shooting me? Oh, probably this fellow. How dare you? Keep moving. He doesn't want any of this, just keep going. Also, he has a chain gun, probably best not mess with that. That was my chain gun. Mine! He'll never love you the same way I did. <laughs> okay, just keep climbing, Tom. Keep climbing. Alright, looks like that little doorway over there is where we need to go. Hell yeah. And now i got people fighting with me. Good shit. Well, that wasn't as fluid as I would have liked it, but it, were, it was pretty cool all the same. Oh, everyone's dead, Vault. Fuck's sake, I was only like five seconds getting in. Yeah, we could have like, just waited a little longer. Alright, let me just uh, peruse this place before I head on. Uh, I think that's all of it. That's very nearly out of um, stuff, but uh, whatever. Alright, well let's get to this control room so that we can uh, find Death's head, I suppose. Bloody secret Nazi bunker. <sighs> sure, why not? All these weapons, and they still have like these old fashioned, like, castle door opening mechanisms. It's a good aesthetic. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No. Oh, these, were, these are partially turned. Interesting. Well, it's more they're just dogs in body armor. Yeah, I guess so. You want some? No, no, just keep moving, Tom. Just keep moving. Ah! I can't shoot worth a shit! I'm the daredevil of WW2. <laughs> literally. <laughs> just running around with just like two guns going. <laughs> or maybe it's like one of those situations where you just walk in and somehow everybody just manages to shoot them damn selves in comical fashions. Oh, I sure hope someone doesn't come to ruin this fancy dinner party. <laughs> this guy comes in with a machine gun. Ooh, chicken. <laughs> oh, what a lovely tea party. Why were there grenades here? What the hell kind of dinner were you having? Well, you know, gunpowder really adds a kick to your roasted chicken. I guess so. You know, rations, they probably couldn't afford to put spices in there, so they had to resort to using gunpowder. That's silly, Volk. You're silly. Very silly. Is it really so far-fetched? A little bit. Oh, grenade! Ah. I'm just gonna duck down here if you don't mind. That's the thing though, it's just like, a grenade coming for you, they'll never suspect you to just run straight towards them. Yeah, I will kill you. Ah! This is a good idea, it's pulling them towards me. I'll take all their stuff, because that's what a good guy does in the midst of a war. Is it technically a war crime to steal someone's stuff after they've died? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you. It's not a uh, area of expertise I quite have. Like, murdering hostages, I think, definitely constitutes a war crime. Yeah, basically, anything along the lines of killing civilians or impersonating civilians. Like, I know there's, like, a big thing about, like, housing, like, soldiers inside of, like, civilian vehicles and what have you. Just like, oh, you got a lorry? And, like, you open it up, and just tons and tons of soldiers come in and just kill Fuck. everything. War is hell, Volk. Mark 5. Yeah, it just says here, Continue to kill the Nazis and work your way up by taking the stairs. You'll come to a room with a large painting of Death's Head. Gotcha. Loot the room for goodies, kill any enemies present, and examine the statue. That'll be to the left of the picture. Oh, this fucking dog. Jesus. Well, the armor's definitely helping mitigate some of that damage. It really is. 
need to learn how to aim my uh, friggin' grenades and whatnot as well. Oh, this looks like the room in question. Loot the goodies. Uh, oh, can I take the sword? Oh, I can. Nice. Oh, right, there's collectibles in this game, of course. So, like, anything gold, I believe, is something you can pick up and add to, like, a collectibles thing. That's awesome. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure gold sword ain't gonna do very much. I mean, gold's fragile as fuck. It is. Just like me. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, I think that's about all we're uh, gonna get now, so... Yeah, let's head on up. I want my own castle. Motherfucker! Damn dogs! Fuck, fuck. God, they just take like so much health off you. Jesus. Whew. It's alright, you got him. This is what happens when Anton panics. Everything goes to shit, and then the allies lose the war. Just that simple. So do you really have any experience with these sorts of like war time games in general? Because obviously I quite liked my Dooms and my Borderlands and what have you, but I do vaguely remember playing some of like the old Medal of Honor games and what have you as well. Yeah, I think I'm familiar with some of the older like Medal of Honor games. Did he literally just steal dog food? <laughs> I don't know, Volk. Hello. I'm coming. <laughs> I don't even know what a dust tube is, but I can imagine it's not very good. You four. I'm sorry, they hurt you, my baby. They will never part us again. <laughs> Not in this world or the next. Ah, minigun. If we were in Canada, I would make you my bride. <laughs> I can, and I will. And don't forget, when you run out of ammo for that one, there's another one pretty much right next to you. Yes, there is. Oh, that dude's just shooting. Where is he shooting? Good question. He doesn't seem to be really shooting at anything. <laughs> yeah, he was just shooting at the turret. Cool. There we go. Now we go to the right. So it was just a couple of really, really stubborn assholes just hiding out saying, oh, maybe if we wait long enough, he'll just get bored and leave. Basically. Hello. Can't move this beam from our position. We're trapped up here, Blazkowicz. See if you can remove this beam from your position. Sir, maybe you can uh, use the guy loose. Ooh. Nice. Ah, the legendary crowbar. Yes, sir. Do you believe in pretty well, in bed. There we go. That gives me a convenient thing to walk up as well. Go to church every Sunday? Yeah, what you ain't got churches in England, you ain't got no priests there. Oh, jeez. Uh, the Nazi sort of sort of bombing them at the moment, so it's a bit of a problem. <laughs> it is nice to see, like, the Yanks and uh, the Brits all working together. Oh, yes. Oh, God, I'm so out of ammo right now. That's fine, I'm sure you'll be able to grab more before long. You see that? I sequenced into an event. God, rescue me. Ah! Ow. And that rock was right above you. That's going to cause some problems. Yeah. Then I just wake up in the 1960s. Have we been captured? Oh, fucking 
surface. My feet are broken. Oh, good. Oh. Jesus. There's some bullshit going on in here. There's ashes down here. There's a lot of ashes down here. Jesus. See if you can find a way to open that door. Move it. Yeah, less said about this, the better, I think. Coming from that control box over there. What is it? Oh. Yeah, now we have to try and get out of here, I guess. Uh, I get a feeling they're gonna throw something pretty big at us. Uh, can I help? Can I be of some assistance? I don't think so. Find the key! Where is it? It's not in there! Oh, uh, we got the Arise minigame! <laughs> Find the key in all these drawers! <laughs> I swear if he's inside one of these guys. No key, sir, but I found their pawn stash! <laughs> There's more! There's more drawers! Go, go, go! I got the key! Nice! Good job they left it in there. Yeah, you don't want to lock yourself in a place like this, I don't think. Oh, you! Yeah. Come on, you! No soldier left behind. Jesus Christ! Disgusting! Oh my God! No, Scott. Oh, okay, he's cool. Uh, a little toasty, but he's all right. That's good. Gad die yet? It's far too early. Escape incineration. Well, since you're not using these. Oh my god! Oh! Suddenly we're all Bioshock or Fallout in this. Uh, why are you only coming after me? There's lots of other people! We can get to dual wielding. Nope. Not gonna happen. Well, at least he's slow. Yeah. At least there's that, Bob. At least there's that. <laughs> He's just thinking to himself, stop shooting me. He's dead. He's done. He's history. I'll be taking that, and I'll also be taking that. Jesus. Well, you know, since you're not using your gun, maybe I can have it. Hold on. I can hear someone out there. Someone's coming. There we go. Very close to the end now. Hello. Hi! <laughs> you motherfucker. Oh no! I hate you! I hate you! You're that stupid shit eating grin. Oh, he's a comical guy. My people murdered so many times. I lost count. Jesus. So long since I prized us to my English. Oh, don't patronize me, Death Head. That is your real name. You? I've seen you before. Is this canon to the other games? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you. Let me have a quick flick through the wiki and see if I can find anything. Uh, or maybe BJ is just prolific, who knows. Maybe so. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything immediate that says one way or the other. I like the eyes on this one. Do you fucking touch him? Oh my god, are they harvesting things to make super soldiers? It would make sense. Not this one. Somebody broke it already. Oh. It's a shit. Uh, I don't like this. I can't do anything about it. I get a feeling we're pinned down as well. Help me make a choice. 
Oh, fuck off. Oh, no, you can't be doing this. Which one of these two varieties would best support my research? I'm not making a choice. Go fuck yourself. Should you decline my I should have to put a scalpel to both of them and we'd be here all day. Well, since you put it that way, I don't want to waste your time. Um... All you need to do is look to the one you would have me dissect. <sighs> Alright, Volk, we've got to make a choice there. I don't know. I've kind of grown fond of the um, oh, Scottish dude, Fergus. <laughs> sorry, dude. This lad was out of his element anyway. I'm sorry. He's too green for war. Jesus. You can't just talk about a man's fatty tissues like that. That's private information. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Today he's teaching me a lesson. I've seen suffering and death. People maimed and tortured. Thought I'd seen it all. But I've never seen true cruelty. Until now. Count to four. Inhale. Count to four. <sighs> I suppose you have to to get through this. So, is that it? You're letting us go? Oh, I think he's got the sample he needs, so he's just like, uh-oh, oh, come back later. Oh, I see. You fuckers. You git. Okay, I guess. It's not like he has a choice in the matter. Now is the time to, uh, I don't know, maybe get swole, get out of these cuffs. Alrighty, see if we can find something here to help us out. Hello. Oh no. Take him down. Was I too late? No, you're good. Oh, thank God. Ah, oh, you gotta go for the actual turbine new things. Oh, on the back or? No, I mean, like, you have to like target those actual things, I think. That's what I'm doing. That's what I was doing. There we go. There we go. Hey! Just took a bit more of a walloping. It's just making sure I'm not in the path of the flame itself. Yeah, you do that shit. Nice. Do you have to keep calling him broken free? It's really demeaning. <laughs> Tis a bit. Oh. Uh. Oh, I have to do it all at once. Okay. Da 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 da. da. It's a bit sensitive, but hey, so am I. I'm out of this bitch! That fire came on really fast. Yeah, it really did. Jesus. Oh! Oh! That's gonna hurt. And then Aku comes out of nowhere and flings him forward in time. <laughs> so yeah, closing thoughts on uh, Wolfenstein in the Water. Uh, there were a few choke points that definitely uh, got me frustrated, but uh, I had fun with that. It has a bit of a cheeky sense of humour to it as well, which I appreciate. Mm, absolutely agreed, although for an introductory sequence it was pretty lengthy, but I suppose it's a good way to kind of get you into the general mood of how things are going to go down and what's expected of you. So, um, as you might be able to imagine, uh, BJ here does in fact survive. And um, he uh, ends up in something like a 14-year coma or something like that, or 
just a very long period of time just effectively dead. I'm assuming the time skip is coming, because he could have just been floating for all those years. Get him to the hospital. Fourteen years later. What language is that? I can't identify it. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. It's a little bit muffled. It's a little bit difficult to tell. Well, an asylum, of course. I'm going to come out of this smarter than ever. You watch. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. Will you stop comparing my brain to eggs? <laughs> You're going to make me hungry. It might just be German, and we're just idiots. Probably. Like, he didn't have any, like, identification on him. Huh. Not sure how I feel about secret source. As that word. Mm. Well, I guess he was paid for his work at least. But they're using like mental patients for the cause. And yet none of those dudes seem to have thought or recognized him, so I'm guessing they assumed he was pretty much dead. Oh god, were they the kid's parents? Fuck me. Uh, it's a bit rough. I like windows. Strange sensation. Trapped in my body. I black out. I'm losing time. Oh, okay, here Sometimes we go. The seasons change in the blink of an eye. And I'm having trouble with my thoughts. And they dissipate like a scent on the wind. But it's getting better. Here's what I know. I'm in Poland. A hospital. No. An insane asylum. Okay, so it's Polish we were hearing. But uh, we all know about Poland in the war, so. Some type of pharmacist. They run the place, I reckon. Sometimes Christmas. Sometimes birthdays. And sometimes Nazis come. And they leave with patients in shackles. Like it's Death's Head's personal candy store. And the shrink raises hell and all, but in the end he signs. Well, at least he's fighting. Like, he can't obviously go over the Reich, but... Yeah, that's true. I'm alive because of these people. I'm getting better. You know, they're obviously making a special point to keep this guy alive. Or at least keep the Nazis from getting his mitts away. If that or the Nazi is just thinking, well, he's pretty much a vegetable. supposed to be married by now, but hasn't happened. I can sort of look around. Wir schließen diese Einrichtung. Ihre Dienste werden nicht länger benötigt. Oh, they're shutting the place down now, apparently. Sie haben zufriedenstellende Arbeit geleistet. Weitermachen. Coma's over, bitch. Come on, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh no! Oh, I see. They don't even think of like these guys as people, so it's fine. Motherfucker! Knife him! Yeah! Wow, I'm amazed his legs had an atropine and all that time. Mm. I remember who I am now. I love how there's a lot more color now. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, sorry to leave you all on a, a bit of a cliffhanger, but um, 
I apologise for sucking ass, but uh, hey, it's an FPS. It's one of my least played genres. Although I did have a lot of fun with this constant deaths aside. I had it around most of those, so it should flow well. It was a good watch. It was definitely interesting to see how all the events lead up to what is going on. And it's definitely leaving me intrigued as to what can potentially happen next. For sure, for sure. I'm, uh... I'm ready to come back to this in uh, 2019, but I want you all to let me know how you feel. So, uh, yeah, here's all the people who are currently pledged. Once again, uh, if you're pledging currently $25 and up, just pause that until the end of July. Put that pledge towards the uh, the Sega Fund that's starting on July 16th. That'll go to uh, a better cause for the time being. And we'll start taking orders again roughly around July 30th, 31st, so you can unpause your pledges and then get stuff for August. Thank you for joining me for this one, Volk. No trouble at all. Thank you for having me. All right, we'll see you guys next time for another HFC Patreon Quick Look. Bye-bye. See you there.